Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's video, this is episode 159 of our 365 day daily devotionals. This daily devotional is called Jesus Calling. It is by Sarah Young and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, if you would like to see any of the previous episodes, there is a playlist in the description box. And I guess that's it. So let's jump right in. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to pop in real quick and let you guys know what was going on, why I didn't have any of the devotionals out last week. Now, the one that you're watching today was actually pre-recorded, but I didn't have time to edit it whatsoever because we have been painting my new house. Uh, my stepmom and I, and actually a good friend of ours, and then my mother-in-law actually came and helped also, um, but we got it completely painted top to bottom. Ceilings, walls, the whole shebang. It is ready to go. So we're just waiting on the flooring now. Um, I've got an update video coming out real soon. It'll probably be up this week. But anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know why there weren't any devotionals out last week. And I apologize, but I've got to get this house done. Like whatever I can do to get us in there faster, it, it's a must. It's like top priority. So anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video though. And we'll jump right in. Okay, number 159. I'm all around you like a cocoon of light. My presence with you is a promise, independent of your awareness of me. Many things can block this awareness, but the major culprit is worry. My children tend to accept worry as an inescapable fact of life. However, worry is, is a form of unbelief. It is an athema to me. Who is in charge of your life? If it is you, then you have good reason to worry. But since I am in charge, worry is both unnecessary and counterproductive. When you start to feel anxious about something, relinquish the situation to me. Back off a bit, redirecting your focus to me. I will either take care of the problem myself or show you how to handle it. In this world, you will have problems, but you need not lose sight of me. Mm. So, so good. Man, I mean, that just, that's like short and sweet, but right to the point, ain't it? it I mean, it, it, Tells it like it is pretty much. God's presence with us is a promise independent of our awareness. Even if you're not thinking about it or what, it, he's still there. <laughs> he's always with you. I mean, yeah. It also says, um, we think about worry as an unescapable fact of life. I mean, people just think like, well, I mean, I don't know what else to do. I, I just worry. I worry all the time. I'm a worrier. They, they tell themselves that's what they are. Don't do that. Do not do that. First of all, you're, you're making a negative mindset and your mindset is, has a lot to do with your well-being, the, the, the way that you live your life. Um, so don't say that and don't speak things like that about yourself. I don't, I just think that you shouldn't do that, but there's no need to worry. It truly isn't. There's nothing you can do about it. Number one and number two, God's got you one way or another. Mm. So, so good. It says, who is in charge of your life? If it is you, then you have good reason to worry. And you do. If you're the one running the show, of course you're worrying. Of course you are. And don't get it twisted. I was a worrier. I will say that. 
I am not anymore. Praise God. But if there's anything that I have learned, and I've said this several times on this channel, it is that you have no idea what tomorrow is going to bring. You really don't. And I'm a planner. I like to plan. I like to know what I'm doing the next day. I like to do this, that, and the other, and, you know, kind of plan out my week and what I, what needs to get done. And that that's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with, you know, keeping your life a little organized. But when it's all said and done, you don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. You have no idea. There's truly no reason to worry about anything. When you give it to God, whatever it is that's going on in your life, whatever the situation may be, and you give that to God and you wholeheartedly believe that he's going to take care of you, you trust him. There's literally no reason to worry. If you believe that God is going to take care of you, why are you worrying? What are you worried about? Think about it like that. Mm, so, so good. All right, let's do the verses. This, the, the, it's only got two verses with this, but this first one is very, very long. So, <laughs> Y'all just hang with me, okay? <clears throat> it's actually Luke 12, 22 through 31. So, here we go. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, and about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap, they have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you than birds? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Consider how the lilies grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you? O oh, you of little faith, and do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it, but seek his kingdom. And these things will be given unto you as well. Praise the Lord. That was Jesus talking to his disciples. Can you imagine being there and hearing that and being a part of that? And, ah. Uh, just because of the way that God's security feels in my life. And I know how it feels to not have that kind of security. I lived that way for a long, long time. But having that security. I mean, it's priceless. It, it It's... It's peace. It is peace that surpasses all understanding. It is peace down to my core. Mm. There's something to be said about that. Mm -mm -mm. So, so good. Okay. 
I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. So, so good. Man, this was a really, really good one today. So, so good. All right, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus, hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Also, thank you guys for all of the comments and the prayers this past couple of weeks. Um, I was really sick. I, I don't know for sure that I had COVID, but I would almost bet that I did because it wasn't just your typical like head cold. I was really sick for quite some time. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm feeling better. I am getting my energy back and whatever. I am feeling much better. So, thank you guys for all of the prayers and the patience with me um, getting back on an uploading schedule. So, all right. Thank you so much for being with me today, and y'all have a blessed day. Thank mm -hmm. you.